I welcome you all to today's class by Advanced English Language Academy. This is Yasin, your English language instructor. Today we will be talking about three very confusing tenses. Most of the non-native speakers get confused using the, these three tenses. Past simple, present perfect and past perfect tense. So remember that the confusion uh, is just because these tenses are very close to one another very much close there is slight difference so when they are so close to one another so one doesn't know which tense to use where so today i'm going to help you uh, uh, improve your these tenses and i hope that after watching this video you won't have any problem using these tenses so i promise you just watch the video don't skip it okay hope you will enjoy it so let's talk about past simple tense now we use past simple tense when something started in past and ended in past something started in the past time for example i played cricket so i played cricket and it ended in the past the impacts or the effects or the signs didn't come to the present time for example it rained last night so they tried it rained something completed you know i have also mentioned currently completed actions so something completed just right now for example i dropped to the marker i picked up the marker he came and he went out so currently completed actions and something started in the past and ended in the past so for for those actions or for those activities we use the past simple tense but when we talk about present perfect tense something started in the past and ended in the present time for example something started in the past okay and another usage as well that something started in the past ended in the past also but the signs are still there for example it rained last night but when I come out of my room and I see that the ground is wet, my house is wet, there is water. So what I'll say? Oh, it has rained last night. Why I use present perfect tense? Because the signs of the past simple tense are still there. For example, I go home and I just lie, on my, lie down on my bed and uh, I just close my eyes and someone asks me why I am feeling so tired. So I'll answer, I have played cricket. Now, if I'm not feeling tired, so then I say I played cricket, right? But I have played cricket, why? Because something started in the past, playing cricket started in the past, and, and its effects, its impacts came to the present time as well understanding so then we use present perfect tense okay for example my students say we have come so they have come they came in the past time but they're still present in the class still they are present in the class they haven't gone back okay so they say they'll say they have come okay or for example I say I have gone to Lahore so I am in Lahore presently in the present time I am in Lahore so something started in the past and came to the present time so then we use past uh, sorry present perfect tense right now past perfect tense the change in the present perfect tense now let's suppose i put a marker here on the table so i'll be telling people as long as the marker is on the table i'll be telling people i have put a marker on the table i'll be using present perfect tense i have put a marker on the table even if days pass weeks pass months pass but as long as the marker is present on the table i'll be using the present perfect tense but remember in past perfect tense time doesn't matter change matters but for example i put the marker here and i say i have put a marker on the table and when i just look back even seconds would have passed and i find my marker missing so then i'll shift to past perfect tense oh i had to put a marker here because the marker is missing 
as long as the marker is here, I'll be using the present perfect tense. But when the marker is missing, a change occurred in the present perfect tense. A change, just like past perfect tense, the change in present perfect tense. Understand it? For example, the next event is also important. Let's talk about that. For example, someone disappeared. Okay, someone is not at home and people are looking for him. So we just say, he had played cricket with us. So why we use he had played cricket with us? Because after playing cricket, another action happened that he got disappeared. So after present perfect tense, there is no other action. Just like I put, I have put a marker here, there is no other action. But when there is another action, so then we shift to past perfect tense. For example, I had played cricket. So there, there must be a question. For example, what happened to Yasin, sir? Or oh, maybe he is not home and he is somewhere else. So we say he had played cricket with us. So something happened then. When something happened, so we use the past perfect tense. So the change in the present perfect tense is called past perfect tense. As I gave you the example, that as long as the marker is here, it is present and no change occurs, we'll use present perfect tense. Like I have put a marker on the table. But when I move and uh, I look and I find my marker missing, so I'll say I had put a marker. So the change in the present perfect tense is past perfect tense. I've given these examples. I put the marker on the table, so there is no need to talk about it. Started in the past time, ended in the past time. I have put the marker on the table, so the marker is still on the table. It is still there. I had to put the marker on the table. It means that the marker is missing. The marker is no more on the table. Thanks a lot. Keep watching. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our channel. Tata for now.